Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer. Today we're going to take a look at our uh, XI M Tower 2P64X Xeon based uh, implementing the EVGA SR2 classified motherboard. Um, that's a super record tool. And uh, this, the motherboard from EVGA allows us to overclock the standard Xeon uh, CPUs. Let's take a look at how we did it. Um, as you can see, we choose uh, the uh, Intel Xeon E5620. Um, this has the lowest uh, uh, quad-core uh, 2.4 gigahertz CPU. E stands for low power consumption. And um, we were able to overclock them as a commercial product at 3.2 gigahertz, so close to the uh, top speed of the X5680. Uh, those CPUs have um, four cores and uh, with hyper-thread eight threads, as you can see, we can see here. And so we can see we have um, uh, 16 threads um, and um, we equip the unit with 24 gigabyte of DDR3-1333 uh, error correcting code RAM. On the video side, this motherboard from EGGA has a, a seven CI-16 mechanical slot, so allows um, to um, adopt up to four PCI 16X at full speed video cards. And we have three at this time. Uh, there are three uh, for 480 GTX, GeForce, Fermi technology, 1.5 gig of RAM. And as you can see in this little 3D Mark demo, we have the temperature of those video cards running here. And they're running, today's a hot day, but they're running way below the maximum temperature allowed. Um, well, in a minute, we're going to open the case and uh, take a look at, uh, at the, the technical details inside. Okay, the case is open and uh, we can take a look at some of the features of it. Uh, the case of choice is the Lian Li PCP80. Uh, Lian Li is one of the best metal fabricators around and uh, they did an excellent job uh, with this case. The motherboard is uh, oversized. And uh, this is one of the few cases that support that motherboard. Um, in addition to that, um, there's some other um, technological uh, choice that makes this case pretty interesting. Uh, starting with the front panel, um, everything is metal, uh, besides the, the logos and the filter inside. And it's a lockable panel. Uh, we have on top a, a little door. Uh, if we open this door, there is an eSATA, a FireWire, and a USB port plus audio in and out jacks. Um, the panel is a lockable panel and can be inched bo uh, both sides. So it can be inched from uh, the right or from, or from the left in case there are some requirements. Um, opening it, the, the choices of the fan placed on the, on the panel allows to have an unobstructed uh, row of 12, five and a quarter bays, and all of them can be populated by hard drives uh, or other peripherals. We have a Blu-ray DVD burner here on, uh, on the top. And um, the fan are three 14 centimeter fan, and they are controlled by this little hub on the speed. Uh, there's a you know, little fancy thing if we turn down the speed of the fan the LED light intensity decreases. Um, we have rubber seals. We would prefer to have seen them in black, but in any case, uh, so they allow the dust not to come in. And there's an easy replaceable and cleanable filter here. This can be easy, easily uh, uh, washed and uh, uh, put back in work. Now we're gonna take a look on the side, uh, how, we, how we did on the CPU and video card. Okay, from this side we can uh, see uh, to begin uh, the uh, an extra 40 centimeter fan exhausting hot air from the top grid. Uh, a power supply that is at 1250 volt from Cooler Master and that is required for this uh, uh, powerful configuration. This um, power supply has um, extra connectors for the for the motherboard and the video cards and uh, these connectors allow to uh, give extra power to different uh, section of the motherboard. Uh, in particular for the uh, some for the PCI bus and some for the um, chipsets yeah, two more connectors here for the chipset in conjunction with the elite um, EVGA uh, utility this allow an ample latitude of uh, voltage settings 
for each of the sections of the motherboard and uh, customize, customizing the, the and fine tuning the overclocking capability of the board. Uh, you can see here on this, um, we have uh, the overclocking for the QPI, the PCIe of, of um, each of the board and the, all the cores can be overclocked uh, uh, separately. And, um, and then um, you know, there's some features like a turbo mode and, and so forth. And the voltages can really be fine tuned for uh, uh, different different sections. Um, the RAM here is um, 24 gig of DDR3-1333 and the error correcting code. The motherboard supports both error correcting code and non-error correcting code. Um, it can be populated uh, for 48 and 96 gigabyte of total RAM when the 4 gig module uh, will be eventually available. There are uh, cooling uh, fins, it sinks for the chipset here. And we have two customs, um, 12 centimeter fan, air cooling from the two CPU. Um, and we, we find them quite, quite efficient and uh, required for overclocking. Um, we have three VGA card uh, from EVGA, the GTX 480, the new Fermi technology, uh, latest and greatest with 1.5 gigabyte of DDR5 for a total of 4.5 gig in triple SLI mode. Um, the motherboard has seven uh, 16x mechanical uh, PCIe uh, expansion slots, and this allows for um, a triple SLI, even a quadruple SLI configuration, or for installing the NVIDIA Tesla 2050 or 2070 uh, coprocessors. So it's good both from high hand video presentation and as a personal uh, supercomputer. The motherboard itself also has um, um, new features on the USB port, has two USB 3.0 and uh, 3.0 standard uh, and 10 of the uh, 2.0 uh, traditional ones, as well as SATA 6 interface. We have two of those um, and uh, we connected them to um, Velociraptor Western Digital uh, SATA 6 gig 600. A gigabyte each um, for a total net space in rate zero 1.2 terabyte those are uh, fast and very efficient hard drives at 10,000 rpm um, this is uh, about it for this uh, configuration uh, for more information you guys can visit us at xicomputer.com thank you very much